2025 is gearing up to be the year humanoid robots enter the workforce at scale. As 2024 closes, Silicon Valley startup Figure AI is delivering its first AI robots, and a Chinese startup coming directly for the Tesla Optimus is already mass producing advanced AI robots. After partying alongside Canadian DJ and producer Dead Mouse at Figure's holiday party, the first fleet of Figure 2 humanoid robots have been delivered to a commercial customer. Figure founder Brett Adcock announced the milestone on the X social media platform, but chief executive didn't specify the customer. However, he previously said that a fleet of Figure 2 humanoids would start working permanently at the BMW factory in Spartanburg, South Carolina, starting in January 2025. Yeah, we want to do about 20 hours of useful work per day, um, seven days a week. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, BMW will be paying for robots. Okay. Um, and we, we want to help as much as possible uh, here. The Spartanburg plant is BMW's largest production facility in terms of volume, with annual capacities exceeding nearly half a million vehicles. A large percentage of its vehicles are exported, making it the largest automotive exporter by value from the United States for several consecutive years. BMW Group has announced its excuse me, successful testing in real production. The Figure 2 robot is capable of accomplishing tasks requiring varied and dynamic manipulation, complex grasping, and coordination of both hands in unison to accomplish two-handed manipulation tasks. For any speculation that robots will replace workers, no jobs would be eliminated by this new technology. The mundane repetitive work that would be done by these robots would allow our associates to focus on other tasks that involve critical and creative thinking to better support the overall transformation at Plant Spartanburg. The Figure 2 robots have been training to perform industrial tasks at the plant full-time for months after a successful pilot program earlier in 2024. They've been training in a physical twin of a section of the South Carolina plant from Figure Sunnyvale headquarters as well as virtually with NVIDIA's digital twin technology. Founded just two years ago, Figure is aggressively expanding its operations as it seeks to dominate the emerging humanoid robotics market. Early in 2025, the company will expand into a new Bay Area facility. Adcock recently shared this footage of the facility, dubbed Building One, that has 10 times the square footage of Figure's current location. Adcock says new buildings will be launched every 90 days to scale production of the autonomous humanoid robots. Engineers are busy developing Figure's next generation robot that will presumably be called the Figure 3. At this point, Adcock says the project is mostly software-bound, meaning progress depends more on code improvements than hardware fixes. Plans call for production at scale starting in 2025, with the goal of eventual mass production and deployment. The third iteration is designed for high-rate manufacturing and large-scale use in industrial settings. Meanwhile in China, a company launched just in February 2023 says it's already started mass-producing general-purpose humanoid robots. Ajibot, which is also known as Zhuan Robotics, shared footage of its manufacturing facility that's reportedly produced at least 962 humanoids. The company says the plant is the first mass-production factory for humanoid robots in Shanghai. According to the paper, a state-run digital newspaper, around 200 are for internal use and around 700 have been shipped to customers. Production began in October 2024 and scaled in December. Ajibot boasts what it calls the largest embodied data collection facility, with more than 100 robots operating together to collect real-world and simulation data. This generates millions of data points daily to improve robotic learning and adaptability. The facility includes simulated human spaces like bedrooms, living rooms, and bathrooms to prepare humanoid robots for domestic applications. Ajibot, which is backed by BYD, SAIC, and BAIC, has a reported value of 7 billion yens or 980 million in US dollars. The number of robots produced exceeds the target Ajibot announced in August 2024 when the company said it would produce 300 humanoids by the end of the year. Peng Ji Hui, a former Huawei youth genius who founded Ajibot, said at the time he believes the company can produce and sell robots at a lower cost than Tesla's Optimus. 
科技创业公司，那我们一直是把技术创新作为我们最核心的竞争力，而商用的落地呢，则是检验我们价值最重要的结果体现。所以大家可以看到，我们今年发布会的口号就是“致元商用元年”。当然，这个口号不只是用来喊的啊，就是在去年我们 A 一原型机的基础上，我们这一次面向量产做了大量的。Elon Musk has said the Tesla bot could cost between twenty and thirty thousand once production is scaled. He considers that a good deal for a robot that can perform virtually any task a human can do. The cost of products and services will decline dramatically, and basically anyone will be able to have any products and services they they want. It will be an age of abundance, the likes of which people have not, almost no one has envisioned. It will be something special. Agibo's flagship humanoid, the A2. Stands about 1.7 meters or 5 feet 6 inches and has 40 degrees of freedom. It's equipped with sensors like cameras, lidar, and microphones to interact with dynamic environments. Its AI system for task execution reportedly understands user intent and perceives environments while executing tasks across multiple levels. The A2 performs tasks that require extreme precision, like threading a needle, as well as customer service and business consulting. The humanoid robot line also includes the Expedition A2W and A2 Max. The Expedition A2W, designed for flexible manufacturing, can carry up to five kilograms in each arm with seven degrees of freedom. It's wheeled for swift movement in industrial settings. The Expedition A2 Max is a heavier-duty version of the robot that carries heavy objects and boasts 67 degrees of full-body freedom. Its legs exert up to 8,800 newtons of thrust, enough to lift a small car. Also, Shenzhen-based Pudu Robotics plans to unveil its new bipedal robot in a few days. The company says the robot is modeled in human form and infused with human wisdom. Pudu has an established presence with nearly 70,000 robots across 60 countries. The robots are used in restaurants, retail, hospitality, and healthcare. In September 2024, the company revealed its Pudu D7, a so-called semi-humanoid robot that can ride elevators on its own. With its human-like upper body, the AI robot moves in all directions with its omnidirectional chassis. Pudu also recently announced its DH11 robot hand with 11 degrees of freedom. The hand includes extensive touch coverage with 12 tactile sensors with more than a thousand pixels for precise positioning and force manipulation. To find out more about Pudu's bipedal robot and other upcoming humanoid advancements, make sure to subscribe.